Developed by the Chinese room of Sumo Digital Studio. Chat, the first version of this game is my favorite game of all time. One of my favorites. Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines 1 is my is one of my favorite games. So ahead of its time. Oh man, the first one didn't age well. Brother, it came out in like 2003 or something. Yeah, of course it didn't fucking age well. What do you mean? Like, bro, let me tell you something. When the first one came out, it didn't even age well back then. It was so broken. It, it had... So many game ending bugs. Okay. I remember because I had to withstand all of them with my rinky dink ass PC at the time, which had a very, I've heard you say that several times, but you never elaborate. What do you mean? My PC could not handle this behemoth. Okay. Yeah. It was it wasn't even playable at the time. You still needed a fucking uh you still needed like mods to basically play it. You still need a patch when you download it from Steam. Why is it your favorite game? It's fucking awesome. It's super political. It's super political. It's endlessly replayable. There is like like it's one of the first times when I ever played an RPG where like different classes would truly give you a unique experience. If you're Nosferatu, you have to relegate to the shadows, for example. You literally have to hide yourself because you're so ugly that you can't, like, roam the streets. If you're, uh, what was it, Bruja? Like, you were, uh, you were literally getting more and more crazy throughout the run. Um, was it? It wasn't Bruja. Bruja was the, maybe the, the barbarian class? Malkavians. Like... Um, it's also just like cyberpunk based on a longstanding tabletop role-playing game, which is why the world building was incredible. In my opinion, the game is, the game is still barely playable without a patch. Yeah. So I've never played the tabletop, but shut up nerd. I ain't come here to hear you geek out on some old ass game. I mean, I am, I am geeked out on this old ass game and I'm actually geeked out on this new ass game as well. I think this will be sick. Can you hear it? Yeah, this game was supposed to come out in 2020. Dropped two developers, fired all of its writers. They made a BR off of the IP. And uh, the likelihood that it's going to be complete dog shit is probably high. My blood is singing. I will wait for you. This game. Oh, God, it's so good. Why are we watching this trailer then? I don't know. I wanted to just look at it. I wanted to look at it and I wanted to see what it looks like, the trailer at least, and like sh uh, look at the combat a little bit, get a feel for the combat. Um, was the first game this Edgelord? What do you mean? Why is this Edgelord? It is quite literally a very basic ass plot point when you think about it. It's fucking vampires living amongst humans in a secret society, and they control everything. That's it. It's just, that's always how vampire games have been plotted out. I have to redownload this game every time you bring it up just to hear the club music. Why are so many chatters in here being little bitches today? It's just that they're being heard. That's what it is. It's fine. It's not the worst thing. Vampires in the world of darkness. The key setting words are gothic punk. More of a werewolf man myself, but still. I've actually never met someone who's a werewolf fan than a vampire fan. 
where where do you guys go? Where do you come from? I genuinely don't understand why anyone would be a fucking werewolf uh, fan over a were, uh, vampire fan. I get, actually don't get it. I guess, like, furry shit, right? Because, like, like, vampires are sick. Vampires are cool as fuck. If, we're, if there's one choice between a werewolf and a vampire, I'm always going vamp life. There really aren't that many of us, but it's because werewolves are crinos. In crinos form are sick as fuck. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Who gives a fuck? Werewolves are not great because there's also, at least in most IP, an evident lack of self-control when you are in werewolf form, which is like a Jekyll and Hyde situation. Now, that might not always be the case. Mork Pie. Oh, shit. Thank you for the raid. The throat goat herself. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, raid Mork Pie. Hope you had a great stream. We are looking and reminiscing. On uh, Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Is that embarrassing? I don't get it. Why? It's like, bruh, ha, ha, ha. I'm sorry if that was embarrassing. I apologize. The goat. I was on his team, Edward W. I've never watched Twilight. I think I watched the first Twilight. I watched the first Twilight, I, like not even to completion, and I just did not. Um, I did not really like it. I thought it was so whack that like, like I thought it was so whack that the biggest nerf that vampires got was like that they would sparkle like diamonds. Like I was like, this is so written for teenage girls. You know what I mean? Like it was so, it, it was so like young adult novel girl coded. I, I just like. I it was not very uh, interesting for me. Like you were about to say gay? No, I would have just said gay. It was so gay. I mean, it was gay. Actually, it was surprisingly not gay for fucking vampire shit. Vampires are gay as fuck. One of my favorite vampires is literally a bisexual man by the name of Vamp. Metal Gear Solid, baby. Point is who is canonically bisexual. Um, but I just, I don't know. I just thought that it was like, oh man, the only thing that can ever happen to me if I'm in the sunlight is I turn sparkly like a diamond. That's crazy. You know what I mean? It's like, oh wow, that's, that's cool. Cool. It's a real terrible, real terrible. Oh no, don't turn into a diamond. Oh no. <laughs> oh fuck they just released like to Vampire Masquerade games on PC and they were trash I really hope they don't fuck up Bloodlines 2 Bloodlines, Bloodlines was my favorite PC game too growing up I would use the book clone trick to max out specs on any race of vamp and get scenarios you weren't supposed to and it was the best Vampire the Masquerade is gay too for sure um Anyway, I just um I was a big fan of this uh of this world building. I am a, a a massive sucker for this kind of shit. And it's probably going to suck, but I hope it doesn't. I won't defend it, but it does make it hard to blend in is the point. In any event, I don't trust vampire content that isn't gay as hell. If you live hundreds of years, you're going to try stuff. Hell, I'm ace, and even I might do something. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no way you're fucking living for, like, a thousand. Like, vampires have been around. Vampires were around during, like, fucking ancient Rome and, and, and Greece and shit, and they weren't fucking man butt. Get the hell out of here, dude. They were fucking and sucking all across the board. You know what I mean? No shot. Vampire lore is full of problematic age gaps. 